Hello and welcome to the first video in making a tycoon in Roblox. So this series will go through how to script and fully set up an expandable and robust tycoon in Roblox Studio. In this series, I will teach you about the collection service, meta tables, custom events, leader stats, and an object-oriented programming style. This series will not be a building tutorial, rather it will be more on scripting and setup. So in this first video, we will be doing the basic setup of our tycoon. So let's get right into it. So, I have myself right here, a completely blank base plate with nothing in it. And this is our new project where we will be making our tycoon. So, first thing I want to do is just make a basic base part for our tycoon. I'm going to name this part base, anchor it, make sure it's can collide, and it's fully opaque, not transparent. And I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. The actual sizing and positioning of this does not matter for right now. And like the material and color, None of that matters. Just make sure it's anchored. Make sure most of your tycoon parts are anchored because you do not want your tycoon falling over. So I'm going to select this part in my explorer right here, and I'm going to press Control G, and this will create it into a model. In this in this model, we're going to name it the template. So this template will be our template for our whole tycoon. Right now, there's really nothing in it other than the base, but we will fix that a little bit later. So, we have this template, right? But there's no way to reference it in our scripts. So, we're going to create a references folder in replicated storage. And you may be asking, why do we need to do this? I have a video about how to use object values to reference instances. I will link that right now. And it's super useful for large projects when you don't know where this template's gonna be because I can move it to a folder I can move it wherever and it'll still be referred to. And the way we do that is I create an object value in my references folder. We're going to name this the template and click on the value slot and then click on the template. So now it's linked. So you see that again, I can link that. So like they're linked because my, you know, you can select something when your cursor has like the little brick icon and you can select the template. So this will be useful for our scripts whenever they want to access this template value. So now let's start and make our very first like tycoon object. And this is going to be the little banner that you see when you want to claim a tycoon. And it'll have a little sign that says touch to claim. So I'm just going to build this right here just so you guys can see sort of my design process. It's not going to look very pretty, but it's going to work. So I'm not going to go through what I'm doing because this is not a building tutorial. But we're just going to make a basic little thing. And the reason I'm doing this is I can show you how I organize it in my explorer. Because this is very important. You don't want to mess this up. So let's make this part. Let's position that around there. Drag it along. and make it a little bit transparent and there we go so now i have this little basic part i'm going to make sure all of the parts are anchored let me check all of the parts are indeed anchored that's good now i'm going to control g all of these parts and we're going to name this model the claimer and so this name does not objectively matter but for my tutorial I will name this cl the claimer in my scripts. I will refer to it as a claimer. So that is pretty important. I'm going to put the claimer into my template model. And real quickly, I'm just going to make a basic billboard GUI. And there we go. My billboard GUI is done. So now that we have our claimer done, we want to take our claimer and our base and add them to a folder. So we're going to, in our template, we're going to make a folder and name this folder defaults. And we're going to put our claimer and our base in there. Now there's a few more things you want to put in your claymore. 
But I'm not going to cover that in this video, because it's only important in the next video. The only thing, other thing you want to do with it is take the part that has the billboard GUI. And by the way, I didn't, guys, I didn't show you guys the billboard GUI. So if you want to look in the properties right now, you can see my properties. Make sure to use only scale values, not pixel offset, because pixel offset just looks really ugly. If you don't know what that is, I could make a video about that. Just tell me in the comments if you want it. So... We want to name the part with, presumably with the billboard key, just the part that you want to touch. We're going to name this part the button. And we'll be able to use this button a little bit later when we actually like start making our classes. So now that we have our base template done, and we also have our base and our claimer all set up and good, let's create a folder for our spawn points where our tycoon will spawn. So, most people, when they first would make a tycoon, they would finish the tycoon and then copy and paste it across the map for your players to use. The problem with that is if you have an update to your tycoon, you have to update one of them, delete the rest of them, and then recopy all the rest of them back to their original positions. And that would just be time consuming and very tedious. So, as a programmer, I want to make my life easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to have one ty tycoon template and in the spawn points folder I'm going to add many parts that are parts that will have the position and rotation of all my other tycoons. So I made this part right here. I'm going to make sure it's anchored. Turn can collide off because no one shouldn't be able to collide with the spawn point. And it's located in the spawn points folder that I created in the workspace. And so you can put these parts wherever you want. I'm just going to, you know, scatter them around a little bit. So now we have few spawn points. The names do not matter on the spawn points. And there we go. So we now we have our spawn points. Our tycoons will be able to spawn wherever we tell them to. But we will do that in a future video. And there's one last thing we need to do. And that is make a folder and server storage and name this folder modules. And this will just be useful for in the future when we need to put our module scripts in server storage. And that's about it. So this video is really short, but I tried recording another part onto this video and it was way too long. So we're just gonna leave it at that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is just a very basic preliminary setup for our tycoon. I'll be making many more videos about this tycoon series and the next few videos will actually start scripting so i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe stay tuned for the next video where i will be making our player module with leader stats and maybe setting up some base classes for our tycoon and in the meantime while you guys are waiting for the next video make sure to watch my object oriented programming in roblox to get a little background for what i'm doing here and maybe some more of my videos so i hope you guys have a nice day and uh, goodbye.